G'day guys, welcome to Tasmanian Fishing Adventures. Today I'll be fishing in the Tyena River down in southern Tasmania, hopefully catching a whole bunch of brown trout. It's a pretty good river for fly fishing, so we'll see how we go, but um, just going to have a walk around here first. Salmon ponds in plenty, that's where the first trout in Australia came from um, after being brought across from Europe. Put into those salmon ponds here, bred them up and released them eventually into the rivers around the area uh, and the rest is history as they stay. So I'm going to have a walk around see if I can find any of those fish. It's actually interesting that the first uh, several attempts to introduce um, uh, trout and salmon to Tasmania were not very successful. They were trying to bring across Atlantic salmon and they never really survived. Um, so they did actually finally bring across some brown trout and that's when it finally took off. So uh, the salmon never quite survived and we still don't really have a self-sustaining uh, salmon population. But of course the brown trout and then uh, a bit later on rainbow trout as well uh, and then brook trout. So. Um, it all started here though. These are the salmon in this pond. Pretty warm today, so they're not too active. Um, but we'll have a look at uh, some of the other fish as well. Yes. Woohoo. In the net. The net's backwards, but anyway, it's in the net. I took the nymph. There's been a bit of surface activity. But it's been so slow that I thought oh, I'll put a tiny little nymph on. Uh, and it seemed to have worked for this fish. I'll get the hooks out of him and we'll have a look. There he is guys, the first uh, little Tyana River trout. Caught on a tiny little nymph. <laughs> Off he goes. Uh, but the first little fish for us uh, for the trip. Um, hopefully, well there should be many more to come. Let's keep going, see how we go. Oh, he's absolutely monstered that uh, nymph as soon as it hit the water. And it's a good fish. Oh, stay out of there. Oh, it's gone poorly. It's gone poorly. Oh, he's in the net. <laughs> oh man, that was... That was not uh, the most finesse fishing I've ever seen in my life. But he's monstered this uh, nymph as soon as it touched the water, he was all over it. He came up for the nymph. <laughs> and it's a good fish. Um, so I'll get the hooks out of this fish and we'll have a closer look at him. There he is, guys. 
Very, very nice fish, quite a fat fish. Um, but yeah, absolutely smashed that nymph as soon as it landed. That's a lot bigger than the first one, so it, we're hopefully upsizing from here. Uh, but yeah, that's a really nice fish, but we'll, uh, we'll put them back. Good stuff, hopefully we can get a few more of them. Um, so at the moment the weather's pretty overcast as you can tell but it's pretty cool as well so there's not too much uh, terrestrial activity in terms of insects life um, and there's not really any fish rising or anything like that so that's why I've opted for the nymph. Um, on my previous trips to the Tyana River I've only really needed a dry fly really um, and caught a few fish on nymphs and stuff like that as well but uh, dry fly is normally all you really need. Uh, but there's really nothing going on in terms of uh, fish rising today so it just needs to adapt uh, to those conditions um, and as we've seen we've caught a, a few fish with that nymph already so seems to be working pretty well and all this water is just perfect for it it's relatively shallow flowing water fish are going to be sitting in behind some rocks somewhere and hopefully just uh, mopping up this nymph as it, as it comes past. Now the Tyana River is one of the best rivers in Tasmania to fish. Um, the fish get big, there are for sure um, reports of trout in the Tyana River each season exceeding 10 pounds. Mainly during breeding though because the Tyana River flows into the Derwent and the Derwent obviously into the ocean so you'll have a few sea runners coming up and they might be particularly large but uh, the resident trout are very willing fish to take flies and there's a lot of them so that's kind of the, uh, the most famous part about the Tyana I believe is the amount of fish so there's 150 trout per 100 meters um, in parts in the Tyana River so uh, definitely a good place to learn to fly fish you'll generally get onto a few of them Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. oh buddy dry fly Max the dry fly. <laughs> nice. First one on the dry. And he's a decent fish. Oh, dry's come out. Oi. Fat fish, decent size. Smacks the dry fly. That was awesome. First fish on the dry fly. The dry fly is a stimula stimulator at the moment. Had a few fish take the nymph. Nice one on the dry fly. Back you go, buddy. Woo! What a fight. <laughs> Aerial brown trout. Very, very nice. Yep. <laughs> Little one on the nymph again. Oh, buddy. Much smaller version that one. Took the nymph. Oh, we're starting starting to get a few on the board now. We're doing well. Nice, nice stuff. Nice little fish. Oh, 
Oh man, we've got another good one on the nymph. Oh, uh, out of control at the moment. Oh no. Second grab, got him on the nymph. Another fat fish. Oh, we haven't moved and we've got a few fish just out of this one spot. And that's another good one. All these fish are in absolute mint condition, absolute perfect condition. Such a good fish. We'll get the hooks out of that guy as well. Yes, <laughs> little one. <laughs> That's two and two casts. It's the little rat of a fish. <laughs> two and two casts though. Will we go the hat trick? We'll try, we'll see what happens. He goes. Alrighty, we're on a hat trick. A trout trick. Alright, where's the fish gonna be? Come on. Let's try over there in the tree there are lots of parts of the Tyana River that's really over the overgrown probably uh, a bit too overgrown for my liking but it looks like that hold fish like these little slow parts where it's a bit deeper amongst the willow trees the pretty ideal but just getting a cast in there is pretty hard and if you were to hook one, I don't know how you'd actually land it, but anyway. We'll give it a shot. And hopefully we have that issue of needing to land a fish. So I've just changed my indicator from the snowflake caddis over to a small grey mayfly. And of course every snowflake caddis and their dog comes out. Anyway. We'll give this a shot. Otherwise, you'll put the uh, caddis back on. There's still too mu not too much uh, surface action going on. There's not much in the way of fish rising. And the caddis aren't really settling on the water. Uh, shame I missed the, uh, the hooks yet, but I've finally, finally got him. <laughs> Took forever. Better, uh, better specimen, this one. Very, very feisty fish. There he is. Throw him rise a couple of times and finally, whoop, uh, finally the nymph is the one that brings him unstuck. Tiny little nymph in the bottom of his mouth there. I'll get the hooks out. Oh yes! <laughs> They're all taking their nymph. How much for an evening rise? Woo! It's the little tacker. There he is. Good conditioned trout, but little one. Taking the nymph there, I saw him um, come up for something, and then that uh, little fly goes underwater. Fish on. Very, very nice. So there's a whole stack of fish rising up here. 
So hopefully we can tempt a couple of them. So at least three fish. There's one of them. So under that uh, willow, there's another one a bit closer to me. So uh, yeah, there's another one coming up. So I'll just let this one drift. We're going a little bit to his right. That one drift a little bit. Oh. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Tiny little one. Very, very tiny. Pretty uh, aggressive take. Well, that tiny little fish. Alrighty. fish that's a better one much better fish on the dry fly which uh, the hook came out for the dry fly there awesome 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 they're finally coming on they're finally biting off they go <laughs> so cool there's a lot more fish up here as well I reckon we can uh, get on to another couple. Alrighty guys, that's your wrap from me today. Uh, another nice little fish coming to the net, a fairly chunky one. Got a few good fish today, it's been a pretty good day all together. Uh, a few fish on dry, a few on nymphs, uh, very nice. Fishing conditions here on the Toyana River. Um, but until next time, I hope to see you out on the water, wherever that may be.